The nine tails have ignited, the panda has also ignited, these two furious flames have officially dueled each other. The fox has made a move, the panda's eyes lit up. The speed was too fast, the nine tails were behind the panda. What kind of speed is this? The panda was quite surprised, speed has never been the strength of the nine tails. The panda felt as if his whole body had turned to stone. Boom! A loud explosion sounded. The divine tree shielded his followers. Everyone was very worried. The divine tree was also quite worried, anxious but full of excitement, sweat pouring out like rain. The panda guy is resisting the slap of the nine-tailed fox girl. It seems that the panda is also excited. That's right. It should be like this. It must be a bloody battle to make him go all out. I give it my all. After saying that he put all his strength into a punch from his left hand, the dense spirit power lit up. This close punch could not be avoided. The nine tails took this punch head on and was shot hundreds of meters away by the terrifying power from the panda's punch. The panda immediately rushed in the direction of the nine tails with an extremely serious face. The smoke at the place where the nine tails fell was in front of the panda, but suddenly a bright light shot straight into the sky. The panda stared at the light column without blinking. The nine tails stepped out of the rubble with a blazing flame around her. The sharp eyes of the fox lady looked towards the panda. The panda's eyes immediately narrowed. A hot and powerful flame shot straight at him. Wherever the flame flew, it spread and burned, fierce and deadly, burning a large forest area, illuminating a sky area. The divine tree stood from afar watching, seeing that they seemed to want to kill each other. The nine-tailed fox was still quietly observing the situation. In front of her, a white and yellow ball was constantly rolling back. That is, giant fireball able to surge with the power of flames within the body, a scorching fireball that devours everything. So that's it, all of the nine tails' flames were absorbed into the panda's body by him. This round is disadvantageous for the nine tails because when two fire monsters fight each other, only the panda is cooler with his physique and physical strength. The panda gave a weird smile as if he had just smoked weed. His eyes with bloodshot veins began to rise. The nine-tailed fox also bared her terrifying teeth and growled. At this time, the divine tree shot a dragon-shaped root to block it. He really didn't want to see his home destroyed by these two powerful monsters. The divine tree shouted, Enough! But the panda also said I lost. The hell? The panda continued, You are really strong, big sister nine-tails. The nine-tailed fox didn't say anything. Tian Cam in the arms of the divine tree was still surprised. She couldn't believe that such a competitive panda would admit defeat on his own. The divine tree just chuckled. He didn't know what happened either. Clearly this wasn't panda style. The nine-tailed fox angrily scolded. What do you want? You instigated the fight. And now you don't want to fight anymore. What are you trying to do? The panda felt embarrassed and apologized. I just wanted to know if I could win when facing a strong opponent. Then, the panda's whole body burned, and he turned back to say to the divine tree that there was something to discuss with the divine tree. The night sky at Misty Mountain is very clear, and the moon has hung high. The two were watching the moon when the divine tree suddenly asked, Do you really think you can't beat the nine-tailed fox? The panda replied, After all, she is very strong. The panda pondered for a while, then decided to ask the divine tree, how strong is a fourth order transcendent monster? Can you beat a mutant monster with a higher level than you? The divine tree cautiously replied, If I risk everything, maybe. The panda didn't know what it would feel like to face an enemy stronger than himself. The divine tree said that it was the feeling of fear of death, fear that he would disappear and become nothingness. The panda laughed haha, feeling that this master was also like everyone else, even though the master was always high above and invincible. The panda felt a bit of empathy and sharing. The divine tree felt strange. Did the panda come to ask him because of this? The panda was still hesitant and didn't dare to tell the truth. The divine tree always saw him carrying a flute on his body. You always carry a flute. Do you know how to play it? The divine tree asked the panda. The panda cherished his flute and said thoughtfully, This is a friend's flute. On the day of spiritual restoration, in the pursuit of monsters, she dropped it in her defense. I still hope for the day when I can return it to her. 
the divine tree didn't like humans at all. He thought that humans were stupid, selfish, arrogant, matured in failure but repeated their past mistakes. The divine tree seemed to have lost all faith in humans. At this moment, the panda's eyes still looked far away, immersed in an indescribable emotion. The divine tree said, Most people are like that, but a few are decent enough for us to sacrifice our lives for them, of course only a few. The panda looked forward as if in remembrance and said, I was raised by humans, and I feel that the divine tree is very much like humans. This made the divine tree startled. Sweat poured out like bathing, but the panda continued to say, Whether it's doing things or giving orders, it's very much like humans. The divine tree felt even more tense. The panda agreed that not all humans are evil, at least those he knew were not. At this point, the panda suddenly asked seriously with a murderous look in his eyes, If I stand on the side of humans and make friends with them, will you kill me? The divine tree immediately turned to look at the panda with suspicious eyes. What does this kid want? Betrayal? The divine tree decisively replied, No, because we are friends, and I know you will not harm us. Upon hearing this, the panda involuntarily smiled a satisfied smile. The panda didn't know if the divine tree liked music, but he had wiped his flute and played a piece for the divine tree to listen to. The divine tree turned to look at him, the melodious flute sounded, and the space appeared with faint blue star spots floating and swaying with the panda's flute rhythm, creating a mesmerizingly beautiful scene. The flute was full of the panda's feelings and regrets. It seemed as if he was about to go on a long journey and would not return. The flute was so good and the space was so enchanting that any girl who heard it would surely be captivated. Tian Kim couldn't help but shout, so beautiful. A sky full of blue star spots swayed with the music, covering everyone. The panda was still engrossed in playing the flute. The divine tree listened quietly to this flute sound. Then, the panda walked away, a distance away, he turned back to look at the divine tree, his old friend, and said, Goodbye, everyone. Suddenly, a monster blocked his way. It was the big sister Nine Tails with something in her mouth. Nine Tails handed it to the panda. Holding it in his hand, the panda found out that these were two drops of life essence. The divine tree knew you were going to leave, so he asked me to bring this to you, Nine Tails told the panda. Today's match doesn't count. We will have another competition, the fox continued. The panda was silent for a while. Was this a reminder for him to survive and return? Definitely, the panda firmly said. Then the two said goodbye. In Liar City, everything had been terribly destroyed. Buildings were ruined and fires were everywhere. The mutant warriors of humans were faintly lying dead in the rubble, while that fourth-order mutant monster still hadn't stopped. With a body as big as a forty-story building, wherever it went turned into ashes. At this moment, suddenly a huge tsunami came. In an instant, the burning city was submerged in seawater. The seawater hit the face of that ancient monster. A giant black mutant fish appeared in front of that ancient monster. That is transcendent fourth-order Leviathan Monarch and this ancient monster, its name is unknown. They started rushing into each other to fight. Back at Misty Mountain, two caterpillars were about to mate. What kind of movie is this? All the mutant beasts were watching intently while Tan Kuang felt something was wrong. Was this like watching an 18-plus movie of monsters? Over here, the mutant crow is diligently patrolling the northern area when it suddenly detects something. Has a mutant member gone missing? He quickly runs back to report to the divine tree, but the divine tree is practicing at the moment. Bump! The divine tree's root hits the mutant crow's face. He seems to have fainted. The mutant crow is always so unlucky. The divine tree's body is still shaking violently. He is practicing the giant transformation skill. Then, the entire body of the divine tree lifts into the air, with only the large roots supporting it on the ground, a faint pink halo envelopes around. The divine tree feels uneasy. His huge body has covered the entire island. It turns out that the divine tree has a new skill, that is divine skill size mastery, allows the user to manipulate their own size while retaining their original power, using spiritual energy as a source for the transformation. He can now be taller than a mountain, from there, his vision has also improved a lot. The divine tree feels very excited, laughing haha, 
because with this physique, defense work will be greatly improved. In combat, isn't observation ability extremely important? But it seems he just hit something. Never mind. The flower god with the shape of a little devil and a small snake are under the divine tree. Look at him. Is he having fun? The flower god said. The mutant snake is a bit bewildered. His master's body is too big. On the other side, a fourth order mutant whale is opening its mouth, but it's opening its mouth when it's dead. That ancient monster has one and is eating its flesh. Around the ancient monster are dozens of suckers. The giant whale was directly swallowed by that ancient monster. Then its eyes narrowed and its body twisted. Fusion completed. It now has an additional fish tail and it has reached the peak of fourth order, preparing to go up to fifth. 